I know that this video is going to be pretty controversial, but I think that removing the tank gun from the campaign is actually a good thing. In fact, I would have preferred if it was removed sooner than it was. Um, so if you aren't aware, Unishek on Twitter recently said that they will be removing the tank gun in the campaign starting Season 2. Um, I believe that in its current implementation, the tank gun is not good at all. Saying this implies, however, that there are ways to implement it that would be a lot better. And I'll talk about those at the end of the video. To start things off, let's discuss some of the negatives that Tank Gun has currently exists in the game. For starters, it has been stated by 343 Industries that this item is a bug and was not intended to be in the game at all. This means that any use of this item is to play the game in unintended ways. The game was not designed around this item. The next reason, and probably the biggest, is that it makes the game too easy. It makes getting several campaign achievements way too easy, most notably Legendary and Lasso completion. Lasso should be insanely difficult and should be a really big accomplishment. And yeah, I know that you can choose not to use it when completing those, but a lot of other people will, and that lowers the overall accomplishment of completing those. It's less of an achievement because there is an easy way to cheese it. The reason that I wish it was removed sooner is because fewer people would have been able to cheese these achievements with it, you know? Also, having an option to cheese through things like Lasso isn't fair to the people who did it legitimately. I also think that things like permanent equipment, fobs, the bandana skull, etc. also have the same effect of making it too easy, but that's a topic for another video. I also think that the tank gun is far too easy to obtain. Um, just look at a scarab gun in Halo 2 for example. You have to go out of your way to hijack a banshee in a section where you aren't even supposed to be a ba in a banshee, and then push it through a long tunnel and then fly it to the top of an archway that connects two tall buildings. In Infinite, you just have to grapple to the top of a frigate that's right in front of you once you enter the open world, and it's right there for you. It takes maybe 30 seconds at most to get the tank gun. So what can be done to fix this? 343 could probably hide it better, but there really aren't many areas in the open world that are actually difficult to reach because of the grapple hook being always accessible to the player and also air vehicles in the game. They could make it a lot more difficult to find and maybe switch its location every so often, but I don't think anything will really make it as difficult to obtain as the Halo 2 Scarab gun, other than like going out of your way more. The final problem I have with the tank gun is that it can last for the entire game. The Scarab gun in Halo 2 wasn't only difficult to obtain, but it only lasted for a short time instead of lasting the entire game like the tank gun does. The tank gun can be picked up early on and used to cheese a substantial amount of the campaign. Not only do people going after achievements abuse this, but this is something that speedrunners of this game actively abuse. The speedrun largely consists of the tank gun to kill a lot of enemies and is a lot less interesting because of that. If it didn't last the entire game, then speedrunners can abuse that and it would probably make the speedrun a lot more interesting. Those are my main problems with the tank gun in its current implementation, but as promised at the start of the video, I want to talk about ways that it can be implemented better. First of all, it should be more difficult to obtain. Like I said, I don't know what they could do for this besides hide it better because of how easy it is to get everywhere with the grapple and air vehicles, but at least hiding it better would be something. Um, they could probably move it around every few months or something, so it's not always in the same position and it kind of creates something new to find every few months. The tank gun also shouldn't last for nearly as long as it does, so it can't be abused to cheese most of the game. They should put a time limit on it, or an ammo limit, or just take it away when you go to a new mission. Taking it away when you go to a new mission would be kind of difficult because there is no such thing as a default weapon in this game outside of the first mission and you could theoretically drop one weapon so you only have the tank gun then end the mission and then if you remove the tank gun and choose to do this then you might start the next mission with nothing needless to say implementing default weapons to missions is important because it's also something needed for mission select when, whenever that comes to the game whatever they do it shouldn't last for nearly as long as it currently does another solution is just to make it a skull that you have to find and select before you play the game this skull would not be active for Lasso. Um, I like this idea because speedrunners aren't actually allowed to use skulls in speedruns, at least not for anything percent, which is the main category of speedrunning. So this might help make the speedrun less reliant on the tank gun too. Either that or speedrunners will just play an older version of the game. There are ways to implement it so it doesn't cause as many problems as it does, but no matter how it is implemented, it should not count towards any achievements in the game. There should be a little warning tab or something that comes up before you equip it that tells you that achievements will not count if you use the tank gun. That way, completing campaign achievements will be much more meaningful than they currently are, uh, at least going forward. I would have liked if this change was made a lot earlier on, um, so not very many people would, would have been able to abuse this but late is better than ever. In conclusion, the tank gun is a noob tool and lets players cheese the game and removes a lot of the skill and accomplishment involved in certain aspects of the game. The tank gun should be handled a lot more like the scarab gun in Halo 2 where it's either incredibly difficult to obtain and doesn't last very long, or it is added as a skull that doesn't count towards achievements. That's going to do it for today's video, just a little short one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you would subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it and I'll see you on the next video, bye.